trust politicians to hijack even the most tragic of incidents. That's what the Maharashtra government seems to be doing with the Shraddha Valkar murder. A new panel has been set up to track interfaith and intercaste marriages in the state. It will be led by Maharashtra's Women and Child Development Minister, Mangal Prabhat Lodha. In case you're wondering, yes, their Women Empowerment Minister is a man, but that is not, and it should not be, an issue at all. What is becoming an issue, however, is what exactly this special panel is aiming to do. On paper, the plan is an institutional response to the Shraddha Valkar murder case. A young woman estranged from her family, being abused by her boyfriend, has no one to turn to. So she suffers in silence since, till she is beaten and eventually beheaded. Women in interfaith and intercaste relationships need institutional support and that is what the panel's stated aim is. So far, so good. But there is a concern being raised over it because of what the BJP's own people are saying about it, about how this panel will be a tool against love jihad. The panel will gather information about couples in interfaith and intercaste marriages. These details will be obtained at the district level. If the woman is estranged from her family, then her parents' details will also be collected. This panel will have 13 members from both the government and non-government fields. They will evaluate schemes to help women and also keep a track of registered and unregistered marriages. Before we talk about the merits and drawbacks of this panel, Quickly listen in to what the minister in charge had to say. ऐसे श्रद्धा वाल करके कान के बाद में ऐसे बच्चे बच्चियां जो अंतर धर्मीय विवाह करने के बाद में अपने मूल परिवार से पूरी कट ऑफ हो जाते हैं और उसके बाद में जिस लड़के के साथ वो जाती हैं या जिस लड़की के साथ वो शादी करते हैं उनको ये समझ में आ जाता है कि हमारे अलावा इनका और कोई ध्यान रखने वाला नहीं है और उसके बाद में उस बच्ची के साथ में क्या होता है या हो सकता है वो हमने श्रद्धा वालकर केस में देखा है महाराष्ट्र में और कोई श्रद्धा वालकर नहीं बने हैं इसके लिए ऐसी बच्चियां जो अंतरधर्मी विवाह करने के बाद में अपनी फैमिली से पूरी कट ऑफ हो चुकी हैं उनको सामंजस्य अपनी फैमिली के साथ में वापस एस्टेब्लिश हो सके ये सामाजिक जरूरत भी है और सुरक्षा की दृष्टि से भी सही है इसके लिए समिति का गठन किया गया All right, so that's what the minister had to say. But the BJP's own leaders have exposed why this panel could become a tool to harass interfaith couples. BJP leader Ram Kadam is talking about how the panel will prevent cases of love jihad. Take a listen. एक ऐसी पहल है कि समूचे महाराष्ट्र में आने वाले भविष्य में कोई भी लव जिहाद का मामला न हो हर घर में अपनी बेटी की रक्षा पूर्णतः तो द बीजेपी देम सेल्व हैव एडमिटेड व्हाट द एक्चुअल रीजन इज इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट प्रोवाइडिंग सपोर्ट टू वुमेन इट्स आल्सो अबाउट मॉनिटरिंग लव जिहाद कोट अनकोट अ ट्रूली नेसेसरी पॉलिसी हैज बीन नीडलेसली हाईजैक्ड बाय द बीजेपीज हिंदू मुस्लिम पॉलिटिक्स The opposition in Maharashtra are calling it a divisive tactic by the government. They are raising suspicions on the motive of this panel now. आपको पता है कि केंद्र और राज्य सरकारें ये तो हमेशा चुनाव के मोड पे ही रहती है और उनका हर एक कोई ना कोई नतीजा अगर आप देखेंगे तो आगे आने वाले चुनाव को लेकर ही और आप देख रहे होंगे कि जिला परिषद के इलेक्शंस अब ड्यू है महानगर पालिके के इलेक्शन चुनाव ड्यू है यही मूल मुद्दों को बाजू में रखकर ऐसे सब मुद्दे उपस्थित करने की ही कोशिश दुर्दैव से हो रही उन्हें कहिए महाराष्ट्र का रोजगार जो गुजरात में जा रहा है उसके लिए कानून बनाओ उन्हें कहिए महाराष्ट्र के महापुरुषों का जो अपमान हो रहा है जानबूझ के अपमानित किया जा रहा है उसके लिए कानून करिए Our guests who are joining us this evening, Rajiv Pandey is a BJP spokesperson. He's joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Naveen Chomal is a lawyer. Tehsin Pulawala is a political analyst, and Sajid Supariwala is a Shiv Sena leader. Tehsin Pulawala, Tehsin Pulawala, I want to come to you here first. Look, when the Shraddha Valkar case came yeah. to light, and when the brutality in the sequence of events came to light, there was much talk about how women in interfaith. Intercaste religions who are 
mostly estranged from their families, need some kind of institutional support. Look at what was happening with Shraddha. She was being beaten up. She was being abused. Uh, and she couldn't go back to her family because she and her family were not on talking terms. And therefore, there was much talk then that there needs to be an institutional response. There needs to be a mechanism where these young women can go and seek advice and help. Now the Maharashtra government is putting that institutional mechanism in place. What's the problem with it? What is the worry with it though? So there's a famous saying that if oil reached dollar zero, um, a barrel, then I would want mining rights on the empty heads of this particular government in Maharashtra. And I'll tell you why. Because this is a government which has zero idea about women's safety, about women issues. I mean, for God's sake, a builder, a construction builder is heading the women development uh, ministry. There can be nothing more ridiculous and funny than that. But let's come to the substantive issue. A for Shraddha and that Aftab, uh, they were not in a marriage. They were in a live-in relationship. But as that may be, the fact of the matter is that women will choose to be with whatever partners they want. It is not the government's job to create relationship between a girl and her family. That's not the government's job, right? What the government's job is to ensure that any woman, irrespective of her religion, of her caste, um, of her sexual orientation, uh, gets the protection from the law that she requires. And those laws already exist. It is a question of implementing these laws. So in the case of Shraddha, as we saw, Shraddha in Maharashtra, in Mumbai, had filed a complaint. She had filed a police complaint. It was not converted to an FIR. Now, that is the law of the land. That is the Supreme Court judgment. So first, that should have been addressed. Had Shraddha's complaint been converted to an FIR, whether she spoke to her parents or no, the girl would have been alive today. The complete abdication of the entire state government is what has led to her death. That's point number one. Point number two. I am somebody, of course, I, uh, I, uh, apart from various cases, I am in an interfaith marriage. Is it now that the Maharashtra police or whatever this ridiculous committee is, is going to come to my house, knock my door and ask me that if I'm in an interfaith marriage, is my wife talking to her parents or no? What is their business? What is Eknath Shinde and Devinder Fadnavis's business, who my wife talks to, who she doesn't talk to? It's not my business. How can they interfere in this? I mean, have you heard of something more absurd? What would have protected, for example, hypothetically, my wife is if she decides to go to the police or she decides to come to authorities, irrespective of who she's married or what her sexual preference is, you protect her. That has not been addressed. Last but not the least, I, if you still want to have a committee which is as vague as this, with no heads of tails of how this committee is going to operate, can you at least have it for all women, irrespective of inter-caste or inter-religious marriage? What if she's a queer woman? What if she's from the lesbian community? What if she's a man who likes to be addressed as a woman and she has other issues to deal with? What if she's a victim of other transphobic activities? You're not addressing the elephant in the room. All you want to do is make this interreligious intercaste to fulfill your dirty politics. And I'll tell you why in one line. Because the BMC elections are coming up and this pathetic government knows it's going to lose the election. That's why they're doing it. But I have a news for you. I am challenging this in court. As soon as the notification comes out, I'll be challenging this in the Bombay High Court. And it will be worth the raddi paper that it's written on. It'll be thrown out of the... Uh, it'll be thrown out. This, this particular committee's Raj recommendation will be thrown out by the courts. Uh, Rajiv Pandey, you are a lawyer as well, and obviously a panel like this with a mandate like this will be challenged in court. Tessin is already saying it will be challenged in court. Again, I say, again, I say there is a need. There is definitely a need for institutional support for women who are in abusive relationships and may not have the support to fall back on their families. Uh, but why restrict? You know, but the problem is that your own people, the BJP is linking it to Love Jihad and saying, oh, this panel is going to ensure that there are no Love Jihad cases in Maharashtra. That is the worry. My worry is not this panel. My Shadi. worry is not about how they will go about things. The worry is, take a minute, the worry is that what is supposed to be a safety net for women could end up becoming a tool for spying. And it may end up becoming a tool to harass women in interfaith marriages. That is the big worry. Yeah, the, uh, Tassin Punawala is saying that he will challenge. Let him challenge. He has challenged so many things in the Supreme Court of India also. So his petition will be dealt as per law. So that's not an issue. 
he has talked about that there was a uh, there was a, a fir filed by uh, stadha walkar that was done in november 2020 when his government was there and that mba government is responsible for death of stadha walkar that is first point should be noted that it is the congress ncp and shiv sena government were in power when this lady filed a complaint which was not taken care so that is the very point you should not that now uh, the larger question comes i have read that that what for this committee has been created you know what is the issue he is saying for everybody it should be made for lesbian and this and that you know when you go uh, outside religion uh, uh, marriage for in outside religion then maybe sometime the family members are not accepting so what happens at that time that girl is going out of the family disconnecting the connect with the, uh, with the uh, family members and once that person like aftab punawala realize that now this lady has nobody to take care then first that lady is tortured beaten and if she is not falling then that lady can be cut into pieces the issue is if suppose my marriage has taken place with consent of my family members my friends my society everything then my 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 wife or in case even if i have difficulty with my wife i can go and talk to my friends you look what has happened in the sardha walkar case and not only sardha walkar case there may be 100 cases in the interfaith marriages where hindu girls are tortured by these people. rajiv ji no, no, rajiv ji in the country that we live in ek minute अरे रुक जाइए आई विल अलाउ यू टू कंप्लीट रुक जाइए सवाल सुन लीजिए एक तो योर कनेक्शन इज नॉट वेरी क्लियर एक मिनट एक तो योर कनेक्शन इज नॉट वेरी क्लियर वी अरे रुक तो जाइए एक सवाल तो बीच में पूछने जीते आप ही से पूछ रही हूँ सवाल राजीव दी द पॉइंट इज दैट इन अ कंट्री लाइक आवर्स इट इज नॉट जस्ट अ हिंदू गर्ल मैरिंग अ मुस्लिम बॉय दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर फैमिलीज इफ अ गर्ल डिसाइड्स टू मैरी with her own free will and choice even that is a problem for families and parents stop talking to their daughters even if she is married a hindu so i am saying why say we will just track interfaith and intercaste marriages ye to har love marriage mein hota hai i would like to then you should like to every say love marriage Sajid, what i what i am saying so in ek minute uh, sajid chaade just a minute rajiv let rajiv finish to, his point how to safeguard the girls which are in the difficulty like sardha walkar you if you have any plan you tell me you know that he is saying mr tajin pula the law is there of course law was there when his his government was in power in maharashtra but law did not protect so now what this government is doing uh. there will be a committee there will be a helpline if shreya wants to uh, uh, contact that uh, committee then only committee will come you know what is there what tajin pula wala is saying he is twisting the no, fact no, no. that somebody can no, come no, no. No, no, second, no, no. That's second. not what the committee is saying. No, no, no. Rajiv ji, Rajiv ji, that is not. Okay, sit. Padke aaya kari. That is not. That Aray, is not that how is this the, panel will that, work. This panel is that, saying that we are that. going to collect data. At yes, yes, yes. yes of course. Which is why I am talking to you about it. In fact, the minister in charge has given out details to say that yes. data will be collected on all interfaith and intercaste marriages at the district Aray. level. we so will even saying, try and find out if the girl is speaking to her family or not yes, and if so it is an inter religious marriage yeah, and the girl is to not talking to her family Shreya, we will contact me. the family also shreya shreya the issue is tahsin pula wala has said something else there is no problem in tahsin pula wala marriage and the father in law and mother in law nobody is going to touch him nobody is going to ask him he is saying somebody will come and knock here the issue is what <laughs> why 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 will nobody touch him? Is not having contact. Ashreya, this one intervention. If 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 Rajiv ji, we will try and settle your uh, uh, audio connection. आपका जो इंटरनेट है थोड़ा सा वीक है. Don't say that I've cut you off, but your internet connection is genuinely weak. We'll just try and fix that. Tessin, if you want to make an intervention for a minute, please go go ahead. Then I'm going to Sajid Supari Bala. just one line i'm very grateful to mr uh, pande that he said nobody is going to touch me i certainly don't want anyone from this government touching me no pun intended
प्लान but of course just, there is a worry that uh, you know that the shivasena has raised about it what is your worry sajid i'm just i have three queries i have three queries over here first of all i just want to know that why during every elections or before every election is coming up why is that that some kind of communalism or some kind of uh, polarization of certain communities are always done love jihad is used that name is used then firstly and foremost that if as i agree with mr tehsin punawala totally that this should not be only uh, uh, specially for interfaith couples it should be for every women's safety in this country as well as the world but we are talking about our country our state in delhi so many cases have happened earlier also there were there was a time when the dowry cases used to happen the women used to be burned so many movies have been made uh for the social cause and for the social uh, awareness now what my query is here that during this election coming up the bjp government and the government which has gone with the bjp whatever i would not call it anything else but bjp government now that bjp government is every state always it comes with something which is communal why does it ever talk about what progress has been done after the new government which has been taken over in the state what work has been done what work has been affected so much business has been gone to gujarat from maharashtra maharashtra se kitne sare labors aaj itne pareshan hai log there is so much uh, there is a scarcity of uh, work for them all there would have been so much work employment for the people now the employment the, the development everything is gone to gujarat what about the state instead of working for making some rules for the project not going to any other state from maharashtra बस जैसे कुछ होता है इनके महाराष्ट्र के मुंह से छीन लिया जाता है और गुजरात भेजा जाता है और अब ये लव जिहाद के बारे में फिर से स्टार्ट किया एक नया पैनल के बारे में बात किया महा पैनल इज गोइंग टू कम अप वेमेन सेफ्टी टॉक अबाउट वेमेन सेफ्टी वाई यू आर टॉक अबाउट लव जिहाद नाउ डू यू नो वॉट रिलीजन I okay. I'm not pointing to any religion. Okay. People just Sajid, say Hindu, Muslim, Sajid, Hindu, Muslim every minute. time. Give me a minute. One minute. Let me. Minute. Minute. Give me a minute. We'll. No, one minute. Uh, I have to go to Amit Shah. Just getting back to our debate and you know closing comments uh, coming in. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for waiting. This is an important story. We of course had to go to it because uh, there are two states in India that are at war with each other over a place called Belgavi. So we needed to go to it. Uh, Sajid Supariwala, I could understand the point that you're making. You're saying that the BJP government has a habit of turning everything into love jihad, <laughs> especially when it comes to or a Hindu-Muslim issue, especially when uh, they are near an election and the BMC one election minute, is near. Navin Chomal, uh, would you want to one respond point. to that? I want to Haan. point out something so, before I. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Twenty Shira, seconds. Can I just Go ahead. Conclude in thirty seconds. Yeah, the thing My is, Pandey ji, Pandey ji, and hey. everybody over here. Are are Rukja, about... Rukja, Rukja. We have time. We are talking. We are talking about Shreya ji. Shreya ke saath jo hua, na insafi hui, itna bada zulm hua. We are talking about that. Now, do you know what we are not pointing out on, on Shreda, one religion, Shreda. but we are also asking you that this? after Pune wala, what you are talking about? Do you know which faith or which religion he belong to? That you have just come to a conclusion that it is love jihad. love jihad has always been used as a hindu muslim divide uh, weapon but there is nothing as love the jihad in that manner if you talk about aftab puna wala what faith did he belong to do you this does mr pandey know what faith he belongs to know what religion he belongs to that he is talking about love jihad or whoever his party or whoever concerned is talking about love jihad here it should not be uh, specially for love jihad this panel should be used for the safety of every women even in the past there has been dowry deaths they even in the past there has Rajiv been Pandey? murders of certain women we are why are we coming to a conclusion of love jihad why are we con 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 coming to dividing two religions rajiv rajiv what is this you are he is keep on talking you are not allowing to speak for that you are calling us non communal why is not keeping one minute jaiye na rajiv ji don't lose your temper no no wait wait a minute i have given him i have 
एक मिनट एक मिनट आई हैव गिवन हिम द चांस टू स्पीक ना जस्ट लाइक आई गिव यू द चांस टू स्पीक व्हाई यू गेटिंग अपसेट राजीव जी वेट ना इट वाज योर इंटरनेट कनेक्शन दैट वाज वीक वी हैव नाउ फिक्स्ड इट फॉर यू गिव ही इज फिनिश्ड टॉकिंग नाउ ओके आई अंडरस्टैंड हां गो गो अहेड व्हाट इज योर सिंपल क्वेश्चन प्लीज मेक इट क्विक कम्युनल कलर व्हाई इट कांट बी फॉर द सेक ऑफ जस्टिस व्हाई कांट इट जस्ट बी फॉर द सेक ऑफ जनरल जस्टिस व्हाई ऑलवेज लव जिहाद एंड कम्युनल कलर्स Rajiv ji talking about development why when every Rajiv ji respond to that up, okay Shia okay ji, okay okay all, Rajiv ji respond this, to that this committee will we consider a woman to be abused only if she has a muslim husband or a muslim boyfriend will no, she no, will no. we not consider it abuse way, if she is being abused nah, by a hindu this, husband or a hindu boy either you are talking or you have got a person muslim. who is talking he was from some what other other thing again you just see is this Nein, the way to check the facts is this the way to debate ek minute sajid sajid This is nonsense. Sajid, Sajid, please let Mr. Pandey have his say. Go ahead, Mr. Shreya Pandey. Shri Aji, Shri Aji, just I want to say two say things. That first is that this committee is for inter-religion and inter-caste, both marriages where there is a breakdown in the family. That girl is not in touch with the family. That is first. As far as the love jihad is concerned, it's a very serious issue, and Maharashtra BJP is thinking about that. That but don't mix these two things. that is a separate issue we know i can give you the list of hundreds of hindu girls are being butchered by the people like this who who tra in, uh, trap them like shraddha was, was trapped a, by how do you know which religion you just tell me i don't which religion aapka was from aapka pula wala you are talking about the, the murderer no no i am not who, talking which religion did he belong to no i don't know uh, 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 i am saying i just made my point love jihad just is a minute. separate subject love jihad is a separate okay. subject This is for But the your people are talking about love jihad. Yes, you are right. Shreya Ji has already said. Navi, is this, is this Rajiv Ji? You are right. No party people have said that. This is not the way. Ra this Rajiv Ji, you are right. This is not the way. He is the way. Rajiv Ji, you are right. I am saying you are right. Wait, wait, wait. Sajid Ji, one minute. Uh, uh, Mr. Pandey, you are absolutely right. This should not be about love jihad. I'm not making it about love jihad. Sajid is not making it about love jihad. Your own BJP <laughs> members are making this about love jihad and no, saying that this that panel will prevent love jihad. This How is, is the Shraddha Walkar case love jihad? No, 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 no. I think these are two people who were no, in love, who no, were living no, with I, each I, other. I the woman show. goes through abuse. I have another show. You, uh, uh, my party is not doing that. These are two separate things. And of course, love jihad issue will be taken care by the by I the Maharashtra government. Don't worry for that. Okay, you have another show to go to, so Rajiv ji, we'll let you go to the show. Navin Chomal ji, why should everything become about love jihad and Hindu Muslims? Even I have to leave. Thank you, thank you, Pandey ji. Thank you. Shreya ji, I have to leave. Eh, acha, okay, 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 Sajid, uh, please go ahead, leave. I'll take a, I will, I will quickly uh, get a last word in from uh, Navin ji, and then just wrap this chat up. Navin ji, why does everything need to be about Hindu Muslim and love jihad? Look at the love jihad law in Uttar Pradesh. it ended up harassing people interfaith couples who had been married a long time ago the police reached their doors as well see just because uttar pradesh did not succeed it does not mean that the maharashtra government should not take a proper preventive step and uh, let me first thank my friend tehsil punawala for his affection for the lawyers that he filed lot of petitions and lawyers should be patronized always i am thankful to him now coming to the core issue as has been very rightly pointed let me address to the elephant in the room and the elephant in the room is love ji ha uh, shreya ji i am telling out of my experience as a lawyer and you must be knowing that i have worked for many many cases dozens of cases of love ji ha where we have saved hindu girls from the clutches of muslims so there are often cases where muslim boys they are uh, uh, trapped systematically with the gang planning where they are multi, uh, having affairs with multiple hindu girls I have got a recent case in my hands which we are going to file a complaint where a Muslim girl, boy man has trapped a Hindu girl, married her. After a few days, he shifted her to another house, and now he is having two other girls also coming to his own house, and his family members are supporting uh, that person. So this is a very serious issue of love jihad. So our government is right when it is saying that uh, when we will be uh, giving a mechanism, there should be a proper mechanism to assess the background also of that person. because often the girls are not in a position to check the background of the person the family members are not in the position or to check the background sometimes the girls are of the uh, very naive mentality that mera abdul alag hai but that abdul is not alag 
Each Abdur is the one who butchers his wife uh, ultimately and puts her in the fridge. So this is a very serious issue. And if you are talking about all religions, you say 99% of the cases are there where Muslims marry Hindu girls or non-Muslim girls like Christian girls and they are tortured or pressurized to become now jihad for jihadis or for other purposes. Very rare case you will find a Muslim okay. girl marrying a non-Muslim okay. person and she is in trouble. So ultimately the issue is of love jihad and this issue is not just confined to so essentially, so 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 Naveenji, essentially, essentially the opposition's fear, essentially then the of you know the opposition's fear is very real. That's something that could provide an institutional support for girls, for women in this state and country, will actually end up becoming a tool to harass interfaith couples. Tessin, this is, I think, exactly no, no, what you no, were saying. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We are living in India. We are beyond the law. It is Take only Let Tessin come in. There is a Abdul. Abdul is having an interfaith marriage with one girl, Shraddha, for example. And at the same time, for the police Are detects it. that he is having an affair with two other Hindu girls also. And there is a gang behind him who is supporting him. So ultimately, it's a love jihad case. So they have to step in. Gang also the there. Punna wala. I'll, I'll let you have the last word on it. Okay. Naveen ji, okay. Thik hai. Sun li aapki baat. Sun li. Tessin, anything before we wrap up? I mean, I, I honestly think that we have the strongest, most honorable prime minister in the universe and the strongest, most honorable home minister in the universe. If right, these right, gangs right, are right. operating, they actually right. teach men how to, in their lingo, uh, get, sir, please, Sir, please may I? How to so, uh, how to woo women, then have multiple women? I think uh, we would have had some intelligence, and these gangs would have been caught by now. But since 2014 until eight years into this government, you've not been able to catch a single gang. Your NIA, IB, RAW, everything seems to be doing uh, nothing except uh, wasting taxpayers' money. But let's come to a serious issue. Look, Shreya, there are concerns of women across religion and across. Um, identities that they take that are harassed. That is a very real concern and you're rightly flagging it. There are laws for that. Those laws should be more, made more stringent and police and administration should be made more sensitive. That is one aspect. But to invade on somebody's privacy, to, to violate Article 21, to violate Article 14, to force a girl to talk to her parents if she wants to, doesn't want to, with her family, why is the government entering into our bedrooms? We don't need the government in our bedrooms. What we need the government to do is when our women go to the police stations to report a complaint, like Shraddha Walker did, to, com to, to act on that complaint. Rather than acting on the complaint and seeing their, their deformities, the government wants to enter our bedroom tomorrow, enter our bed. Now, here is one question. If this was the case with the U MVA government, that this girl Shraddha lost her life very tragically, which she did, why hasn't the single police officer been suspended? Why hasn't then the uh, police commissioner of Mumbai been suspended? Why hasn't the DCP been acted upon? You've not acted upon any in the administration. All you're doing is you're creating a monster committee to look upon women. And we're not even talking about intercaste faith, uh, religion. So uh, intercaste cases. What if they are intercaste marriages? So this committee is supposed to deal with that. But the entire focus of your debate is a Muslim man and a Hindu girl. That is where patriarchy comes in. It's also insulting to a woman because it makes people feel that a Hindu girl is not sovereign enough to choose her love partner. Men here sitting on this channel will tell Hindu women how to choose their partners. That's what this debate has come down to. And that is a terrible telling of people who are representing the other side. I wish their debates would have been slightly more humane and given slightly more respect to women and giving women the sovereignty and the right to choose their own lovers or their own husbands, as is the case. All right, we'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. Let's see how far this panel goes. Tessin is always, already telling us on the show that he's going to challenge it in, in a court of law. Thank you very much, Mr. Chomal. Thank you for joining us. And thank you very much, Tessin, for joining us as well. I'm slipping into a quick break on the show. There's much more coming up on the other side. Do stay with us.